26th of um, August, I mean of October. Please, I urge you therefore. Uh, one, I want to reiterate the position the IG has taken that let us remain uh, impartial. Let's remain uh, firm but objective. We serve all Kenyans. And every Kenyan, regardless of their gender, their ethnic background, their religion, their political persuasion, expects and should get service from us, unqualified service. But I want to pause here and tell you something, which I think I would be responsible if I did not address in this meeting, IG. My brothers and sisters, as a country, this is something we have to speak to each other very candidly. As a country, we are at a place we have not been to before. Looking at the events around the country, looking at the political rhetoric around, a little earlier this afternoon I was watching a press conference that shocked me. When you look at all these things, there has never been a time, and I'm talking to you not just as senior police officers, I'm talking to you also as leaders. There has never been a time in the recent time or the recent history of this country when the call to carry the burden of leadership has been so clear as it is today. And we have to carry that burden of leadership. Which means we have to exercise extreme restraint. Extreme restraint. I can assure you, you are going to be provoked and we are going to be provoked. Things are going to be said that will shock us out of our normal comfort. But I want to urge you very sincerely that one way we are going to shepherd this process and get our country forward is by us in the security sector exercising extreme restraint. Let's act with a measure of caution. Let's be very reflective on some of the things we do. And let us consult very closely. Because otherwise, provocation is going to be the order of the day as you go forward and certain things are going to be done, some of them even deliberately to actually provoke us in the security sector, to either act or to do certain things. This is the time for us to act with extreme restraint and ensure that we keep the country together, we keep the country peaceful. Let's do the best we can to make sure that we avoid everything that uh, can inflame passions or was in the situation. Uh, let's act within the law. And we'll be firm, objective, but most importantly, if we are going to be even handed and we treat everyone equally, chances are that we will be able to shepherd our country uh, forward together. We have not been here before as a country. And 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 when I look at the reports I see the briefings I'm getting from my colleagues in the security sector from across the country. I can tell, and we can all tell, that we're called upon at this point in time to be very cautious, to be measured, to be reflective, and to be restrained in the way in which we act. But otherwise, I have no doubt, and we have none in government, that we have a very professional security sector team led by very committed and serious people who love their country enough to uh, ensure that we succeed together. Be firm on hate speech, be firm on crimes that are going to be committed. The law is blind to status, it's blind to gender, it's blind to political persuasion, it's blind to creed. The law is blind to ethnic background. I'm sure Honorable Kaparo may have shared with you the challenges we have in the country right now. And, and as a result, for example, when you look at what we are experiencing in social media in this country, it, it's unbelievable the kind of things that are happening. But let's be focused on implementing the law where we need to act. Uh, let us act with firmness and uh, let's be as even-handed as we ever can be so that we can keep the country together. But I want to urge you that... Uh, in the life of a country and in the life of a community. And you know this, many of you are highly trained 
many of you are highly exposed and very senior security officers you understand this more than I even can ever do that in the life and in the history of our country there is that time when we need to summon all the best in us and all the good in us so that we carry that burden of leadership of ensuring that our country remains together and we carry our country across this uh, season uh, as it were because day after day you see a lot of provocation and day after day you see utterances that could inflame passions let's do the best we can in our various jurisdictions to ensure that we exercise caution and we keep uh, the country together lastly I assure you of our continued support uh, and as we go forward um, whatever issues that come up relating to your welfare we will do the best we can I have been in several regional meetings with some of you uh, when I've been out of Nairobi I can see and I frankly understand uh, when certain issues are raised and when we uh, face certain questions from you or expectations from you on the support that you need where we have shortfalls I want to assure you that we are all doing the best we can to ensure that we support you even better yesterday cabinet approved a small budget for us to support the security sector during the the forthcoming uh, presidential election and we are looking at where we have you know, certain gaps that we need to deal with support you here and there uh, as the inspector general of police will guide us but I can assure you and I promise you we are all committed to working and supporting the inspector general and his uh, deputies to give you the support that you need so that you can deliver on the duty and the work that we have at hand so I wish us all the best as we go forward and because I know all of you good people are believers also pray because ultimately the security of the country is not so much because of the guns and the arms that we have it is first and foremost everyone acting on the basis of the fundamental good faith that we have one thing in common called a country a wonderful blessing called Kenya that we must look after all of us together and even in the face of the most extreme provocation remember that we have a country and we have one energy and many 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 of our people a greater population of this country are people who want very simple straightforward things in this life a working environment an opportunity for them to earn a living and move forward and let's help them achieve that many of them are not interested in this the big things we argue about all the time and in the conflicts that you oftentimes see and so on so so let's let's help them and take care of them as they go about their ordinary duties as we go forward so i promise you of our support and we will continue to work with you where we note as i said some gaps we will continue to, to back you but i'll need you to live here knowing that we are all very proud of you because of what you have achieved it is because of your focus and commitment and your sense of preparedness that is how we ended up with a very peaceful well managed election on 8th of August and because we know that and we have that capacity and we have that experience let's do it again on the 26th of October and God bless you indeed and may he strengthen your hand for the good work ahead thank you